Someone says, be yourself. Usually I work out here in my underwear just so I can conserve laundry, but now that I'm filming these, I need to wear clothes. Well, it's hot. And I gotta show y'all why I'm doing this. Okay, let's just say, looking good for my wife, really. All right, we're doing last set. We got that vertical pull. Got those abs working, got that back working. We're gonna get into this. So, grab my cool and tough looking chain, throw it over the cat suit in the back. Okay, I got my microphone back here. But again, get those tubes out of the way. You don't want your tubes messed up. Chain is cheap. Katsu, it's great. Take care of it. You can get another chain. A little katsu, a little bit more expensive. All right, here we go. We got last set, 10 hard pull-ups. Now this time, I'm gonna do a close grip underhand pull. You ready? Going to 10, here we go. Close grip, uh, get a nice strong grip. Take a deep breath, sink all the way down. And pull, one, two, three, There's nine. Woo! Ah, drop that. Drop that. Okay. So, primary set done. I'm gonna take Katsu, kick that off for a second. We're going back to the armbands because I just did a really good back and arm. So we're going to close this off right and finish off those arms. So vertical pulling, a lot of lats, a lot of back, a lot of abs, but obviously you're working your arms, you're working a lot of other things too. So with Katsu, you do want to wear some clothes while you put the bands on. The bands are made to go over your shirt, over your shorts, but they are also waterproof and they are made for swimming. Katsu Aqua, check it out. But I ain't getting that shirt on right now. It's too sweaty. Catch my breath. That was fun, so that was 50 pull-ups. Some weight on my back. All right, bands. A little weird with my armpit hair, so you kind of got to wiggle around a little bit. Feeling good, yeah. Cool, okay, so we're still in training mode because that's what I just came out of. So you hold down the L button. There's no beep for that. Gotcha. Do pro. You know what? Pro medium. Give me the blue. All right. We're going to do biceps and triceps because we did the back. Doing that vertical pull really worked. Our, yeah, we'll stick to our band, right? Our band. For those of you who are watching home, this is 65 pounds strong, okay? 65, this is Bally's. I got this, I think I got this at like Ross or Marshall's. This is one of those like random things. Impulse buy when I was leaving the store. I said, ooh, rubber band. Just like squirrel. Okay, get the rubber band in there. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I was talking too much. That was the end of the cycle. Okay. So then let's do, well, you can do single arm triceps. I'm going to show you how to do a skull crusher. Take the TRX. We're going to go about mid thigh to knee level. Throw those bands over your shoulders, even them out. Step back underneath that fulcrum, the anchor point up top into that rollout. But this time we're staying into the out part and you're just doing, that's right, skull crushers. Hey, keep your abs tight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, 
sticking with the theme, doing the T-Rex, we're on cycle number three of our pro medium. Do one set of bicep, one set of tricep. We're gonna try to do three and three of each. Bicep curls, again, I actually raise it slightly. Go about like mid thigh, you could say distal thigh, to sound real smart. Thumbs up, I'm gonna turn those palms up. Keep your elbows pointing straight and you're going to bring your knuckles to your chin. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You now with cats, you, you really want to do more high reps, low weight. But then when you start to get tired, muscle fatigue kicks in. You just can't do it. And that's good. It's okay. That's what we're looking for. All right, back to a skull crusher. Wiggle those arms out a little bit. Two, three, four. And the beauty of using the TRX is that as you get tired, you can easily change. Notice how I just took a little step forward just to make it a little easier. And then I can even go even more and get a better stretch on those triceps and really work them. Okay, we're almost done. Feeling lean, feel me. How are we doing on time? We're doing good. Bicep curls. So 45 degrees, uh, it's more about like a 62 degrees. Two, do five, three, four. Oh, it's hard to get harder. Shuffle step back. Now I'm at a, uh, that's more of a 30 degree. Okay, that's a little too easy. Oh, but that's still hard. Oh, I can curl 50 pound dumbbells like it's nothing. But doing a 30 degree TRX bicep curl, I feel like my arms just aren't getting anywhere. Where are we at? We're on cycle number six. We did a bicep, tricep, bicep, tricep, bicep. One more tricep. And then we'll get to the sandbox. Last but not least, I'm gonna introduce you to my grip. The gripper. One, two, three, four, five. Shuffle forward. One, two, three, four. Uh, uh, all right, uh, almost done. All right, guys. So remember, functional. Okay, doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be pretty. You just want things to work. Uh, all right, guys. It's my 50-pound bag of sand in a bucket. Okay, grippies, grab. Okay, cycles going. You're gonna spread. And grip and pulling. So spread, fingers nice and wide, grab that sand, and really squeeze that sand. Grip, 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 grip. And you can turn your wrists, you can roll it around. Gripping, you can do the old keyboard. You do this in the sand for a few cycles, your fingers are gonna be smoked. More importantly, you should do spreading. Spread, spread. Spread, spread, grip, spread, grip, spread. Really work that thumb extension and abduction. Our thumbs break down as we get older because we grip too much. So working that thumb, just digging that thumb around like that, that's a good one. Okay, make sure you keep your sand in the bucket. Okay, oh, we're ready. All right, guys, so that was a vertical pull workout routine with the leg bands on. Now notice I've got my arm bands on. My arms are feeling nice and pumped up, nice and swelled up. So we did heavy vertical pull with the leg bands on. Again, don't do heavy vertical pull with arm bands on. It's counterproductive. <sighs> Stay tuned, guys. I can get out of here.